Rules of Warcraft. Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGN Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Oh man, this this was the big announcement at PAX East. I did not see this coming. I was hoping for like a Blizzard All Stars uh, release date, uh, more information because I'm you know I'm dying for that MOBA to come out. But this was a pleasant surprise. Now I don't know much about card games. I will be the last person you would ever come to for any Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. TCG shit. The only thing I know about trading card games is the damn loot cards that come from WoW. That's all I know. Now, am I excited about this? We'll get to uh, back to that in a bit. So let's give a little bit of the background information on Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Um, it is a free-to-play digital card game based on the World of Warcraft TCG set in the Warcraft universe. Um, here is the background information. We have it's playable on the PC, Mac, and iPad. Now the iPad, I was kind of like, man, what about my Google Nexus? That sucks. Hopefully by the time it comes out, it'll be available on all platforms. The game will be easy to pick up, but have a good amount of depth and complexity. The board is 3D with lots of animations to make gameplay more exciting. As you're looking at right here, there's some sort of fireside duel going on. Uh, what is this? Warlock versus Druid or something? See, I have no idea what's even going on as I'm watching this game. Like... We'll get, we'll get to the game in a bit. <laughs> there will be over 300 cards with the initial launch. You can purchase more card packs for roughly $1 per five cards or slowly earn them through gameplay. So it's kind of like, you know, when you play League and you get like those uh, points that you can buy champions with, but you have to keep playing and accumulate them. Uh, there will be basic and expert cards, with expert cards being broken down into categories like common, rare, epic, and legendary. If you're watching the actual uh, panel, they showed like one of the legendary, it's like legendary, and then you saw like a big ass fucking legendary card come out. You're guaranteed to receive at least one card of rare or better quality per pack. Each card in a pack also has a chance to upgrade to a golden version of the same card. Don't even know what the fuck that means. Disenchant cards that you don't want to receive dust, which is used to craft new cards. It's like a whole crafting system. I, I couldn't even explain it if I saw it myself. Um, there is a deck builder, which can build decks for you, or you can build your own. I'll probably be having the game do it for me. Um, the game will be a 1v1 game using Battle.net matchmaking. Oh, that's always worked, right? MMR 1200 Duelist fucking Paladin in your face healing hybrid spec build. Playing will allow you to earn medals every week. You can also play against AI at difficult, uh, different levels of difficulty. That's pretty good. Always being able to play like a computer-generated, you know, AI is awesome. Any purchases you made during the beta will be credited back to you in the form of new unopened card packs at launch. Take my money. You'll only be able to play with the original nine classes at the moment. So, the heroes in the game. For Druid, Malfurion and Stormrage, Hunter, Rexar, Mage, Jaina Proudmoore, Paladin, Uther the Lightbringer, I would have chosen Bolvar, Four Dragon, but whatever. Priest, uh, Anduin, Wern, Wern, how do you say his last name? Ram, Ram, you know, you know, the Prince, you know? Rogue, uh, Valera, uh, Sanguinar, Shaman, Thrall, Thrall! Warlock, Gul'dan, yes! Warrior, Garrosh, Hellscream, and then additional heroes are uh, Antonidas and Lord Jaraxxus. You face Jaraxxus! It was pretty funny watching it. So, here is my view of it. Once again, I have never touched a card game ever in my life. I was the kind of dude that went into the, um, the you know, the, the baseball card stores or the video game stores, you know, like those, uh, not GameStop, but like independently owned, and the back there's like all these tournaments going on, there's a bunch of like, you know, kids doing Pokemon cards and shit. I would look at them and be like, damn, them some hardcore nerds back there. Them fuckers is sitting there all day, you know, like, you know, this, ain't, this ain't no Texas Hold'em, these fuckers are playing with like Pikachus and shit, you know, Magic the Gathering and all that. And I'm like, man, what a bunch of fucking nerds. And now myself, I'm looking at this game like, man, I want to be a nerd too. And now I would have wished that back in the day I would have at least, you know, stood over their shoulder and watched them play to see if it's good or not. So I have no experience. Uh, for Sub Sunday, we played Magic the Gathering, the, the online version, and I didn't even play it. Some guy just walked me through what to do with every card I had. So, I'm, like, right now, I'm looking at the board. Thousands of you know what the fuck's going on on, on this very game board right now, right? I have no clue. Like, where's their HP? 
I, I guess their HP is in the portrait, right? So that's Malfury and Stormrage up there, I think. Or, or Scenarius or something. And there, I think his IP is right to the lower right. So he has 25 HP. Gul'dan down there has 30. See, and now there's all these cards. Like, like if you guys give me reference sites on how to play these games. I see you have mana on the lower right. Uh, I guess you can see the other person's mana. It's He has one of nine. And, and, the, and I guess mana is represented by crystals and shit. So each card costs mana. So I'm assuming that number two on the upper left hand corner of the card is the mana you spend to put that card on the on the board. I'm assuming, right? Um, like Lord Jaraxxus costs nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This dude only has seven. How is he even gonna put Lord Jaraxxus up there? I don't even know. Like I have no idea how this works. So, I mean, any information, you can always email me at roberto at tgn.tv on how to get maybe better at this before it launches or to have some sort of basic understanding of what these card games do. Because I'm a complete newbie. I've tried even to read the wikis and, and the wowpedias and Magic the Gathering forums, and it's just really complicated. And the guy who, and the guy who was doing the panel for WoW said that, oh, you'll be able to pick this game up in the first five minutes of playing. I was like, you must not be talking in tally minutes. You must be talking in, like, you know, normal person minutes. Because for me, that ain't going to work. That ain't gonna work at all. But you know, with with you know, practice makes perfect, as they say. I'm really excited for this because this is gonna be the first card game that I play, um, and it's gonna be based around my favorite universe, which is the Warcraft universe. That's why I don't really appeal to Magic or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh because I don't like it. I don't like their characters and their lore and their story. But Warcraft, I can definitely deal with that. I can definitely rock some Uther the Lightbringer, bust out some sort of like crazy ass self healing build deck shit and just start dominating people but uh let me know what you guys think about heroes of uh warcraft hearthstone um i think it was a really good announcement i think blizzard like chris metzen said they're really getting they're like out of their comfort zone here because this is going to be free to play and they are dealing with microtransactions i mean honestly let's look i mean let's face the facts folks this is going to be a fucking cash cow Th this game is going to generate so much money Look at that, that motherfucker just turned into Jaraxxus. You face Jaraxxus! Paragon Lord of the Legion! And then start playing the techno song in the background. Anyway, th this game is going to be a cash cow for them. I mean, I could definitely see all the MTG players and all these Pokemon kids, you know, playing this. And th there's already a large demographic of, you know, teenagers and adults who, who have been playing Magic since the early days. I mean, whenever I watch a Twitch tournament, it's always like two 50-year-old dudes going at it for Magic. You know, I, I would love to see what this game is going to bring, especially to the esports platform and to like MLG. Because, I mean, this could be the game that, you know, Blizzard puts out there that people, you know, will be in competition for. We might start seeing not only Arena and StarCraft 2 tournaments at BlizzCon, but we're probably going to end up seeing uh, Heroes of Warcraft, uh, Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft tournaments. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Any information, you know, just put it in the comments, man. Help me out. I, I want I want to try to be good at this game. I want to try to learn this and know what's going on. Do I have to start buying the cards myself and just start reading? I mean, my, my girlfriend loves these trading card games. She has tons of TCG cards. I'm going to start reading them shit, see what they all say. Plus one taunt, plus two attack. I have no idea. Anyway, this has been Tally with TGN. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm glad they did this. And I hope that in the future I can become semi-decent at this game and play with you guys and have maybe little mini tournaments on my live stream. Maybe I can even shoutcast this shit. That'd be awesome. Anyway, peace out. Boom.